Howdy y'all, welcome to Lax Lives, I'm Lakander, and this is Lack Plays Feed the Beast Test Pack, Please Ignore. Alright, so, man, you were loading in slow today. Uh, so, I have been oh, making a bajillion bits and pieces trying to get... Uh, get ready for some more modular power suit here and it is just unbelievably complex trying to build all this stuff uh ooh, i got an extra seed uh so i um you can see i moved my my garden around a little bit here i uh i got uh, one of the guys on the server who's doing um thomcraft to uh help me make a lily pad of fertility uh, which is done a little differently than it is in uh, other packs that I've made it before uh, because the recipes for it are pretty simple in the other packs it's like uh, gunpowder another wart glowstone and a vial of water and you combine those and they make a serum and then you combine the serum with some uh, bone meal and then you get these uh, f splash potions of fertilizer serum and um, and then you combine those with um, uh, a lily pad you, eight of those go with the lily pad and they make uh, they make a uh, <laughs> lily pad of fertility and on here uh, we have uh, something with Thomcraft and so you have to research them in Thomcraft before you can make them but I was able to make the um, the, the water thing that uses uh, you make a vial you dunk it in the water and uh, you get the water vial that's fine um, but then it needs this condensed serum stuff and uh, I couldn't make it and apparently you can oh man I've drained my charcoal to the empty um, I might need you to start back up up here. Uh, I don't think this has got anything in it, right? Nope. Yep. Need me some more charcoal. You're going to have to start... Oh. Is your blade dead? Do you need diamonds? You need diamonds. Alright. Let me go get you a couple of diamonds. We'll fix you up. But I, uh, so on here, I used a fluid transposer, and uh, you can hook it up to water. And when it's hooked up to water, it, uh, um, you can make the serum that way instead of having to research it and use the gold or the glowstone gunpowder, um, and stuff like that. So, uh, so I put in a fluid transposer over here, hooked it all up so I could make the serum, and then I couldn't do the rest of it. I had to get somebody else to help me. I'll bet these are... Oh no, it didn't use that much. Awesome. I don't have my uh, my windmills hooked up to my, to my magma crucibles for lava at the moment, because I have it all being sent out to my quarry, which I need to check on real quick. None of this is getting on to my modular power suit, but... Uh, uh, you know, I just started up the game, and this is my startup routine. Get the ender pearls and um, check whatever I left running the night before. Plunk. How we doing out here? Are you uh, you moving? Good. You weren't moving yesterday. Uh, I don't make enough MJs, really, for all this stuff to work. And uh, actually, it looks like you've hit bottom. Uh, that looks like it might be the last row. Uh, how we doing? Are you clogged up here? Or Nope, everything's still flowing. Awesome. And here? Everything okay here? Yep, awesome. All right. Um, all right, what was I doing? I forgot. Uh, okay, this is what I was doing. I needed some steel... And so I was cooking up, I wasn't cooking, I was pulverizing 
some electrum and some coal, which of course I logged off because I got tired of waiting for stuff to cook. All right, I can handle this. Uh, you need some redstone. And you get my ender pearls. Melt those down. Um, what's in my hand? Electrum. So that needs to continue on its way, making some uh, fluxed, infused electrum, whatever that stuff's called. Uh, oh, I just about sneezed there. Whoa. And uh, so, you know, I've been, I've been working. I've got, I've got this. This is, uh, oh, this has been a ridiculous amount of work. Ridiculous. Uh, and so let me make another chest here to dump out everything I'm not going to be using. Uh, and we'll just, we'll plop it down and give me some place to unload what's not what I'm working on. This will be my working on chest. All right. This is the stuff I'm currently using to do things, uh, which, oh, 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 give me that back. I'm going to go put that in. Actually, I don't even know why I have you or you. Uh, you can go in the ch the barrel where you belong. Uh, you can go in there. I'll use you in a minute. I think that's... Oh, no. I don't need that. I don't need that for the moment. I might grab you in a second. Uh, but so I've been making steel because I need... I need more wire. I'm out of wire. And... Uh, uh, but for the wire, of course, I need the flux electrum ingots. And for that, I need redstone melted down. And so, you know, I've been working on that quite a bit. Uh, oh, yeah, I did get a few more piles of glowstone there. That's awesome. Uh, oh, I think I got some more interpearls. Ugh. Uh, okay. So, uh, this is what I've gotten so far. Oh, yeah, let me dump this sand. I feel distracted. Uh, Alright, so I've got 15 servo motors, an MV capacitor, 2 force field, an ion thruster, 8 invar gears, steel ingots, 22 flux crystals, 8 solenoids, 2 pneumatic servos, and all of this, all of this is only going to make a couple of things. It's, ugh, so much stuff. So what do we got so far on our glove here? Um, we don't have uh, we don't have the blade launcher, which I want to add, and uh, we don't have. I'm not going to worry about the lightning summoner right now because I don't quite understand how that thing works. And then um, I also want to add this blink drive because I think it might be really cool. So uh, let's start with the blade launcher. You can see it takes a servo motor and an MV capacitor. Uh, and so if we look at those, remember the servo motor was the wire, a well, flux crystal, pneumatic servo, a couple of solenoids. Um, and, uh, you know, the flux crystal is just a diamond and redstone. Uh, the wiring is fluxed electrum ingot, uh, lead and silver. Uh, so I've got to make that up yet. Um, solenoid is the wiring with the steel. So I've got to make up some of that yet. And uh, uh, I already forgot what the next thing was in there. What was the other thing in there? Oh, yeah, an MV, an MV transform capacitor here. I keep making these stupid redstone flux capacitors. I guess they're not stupid, but I hate that they're they're layered. So, like, this one is wiring and an electrum and a couple of fluxed electrum ingots. Um, but that is made with two electrum and a diamond and the redstone. And then that's made with the Invar the tin, and that's made with the uh, sulfur redstone. I hate that you have to layer it so much. It's one thing to need, like, a machine to make the next machine, or, like, steel is made from iron and carbon, but isn't there just some way I can use more expensive components to shortcut my way into the, the thing? But anyways, so I've got that on me. So we can install the blade, and it's awesome. And we'll, we'll go take a look at it in a minute. And then I... I also made the um, the ion thruster and two force field emitters so that we could add this. Uh, the ion thruster takes two force field emitters, an HV capacitor, and then just some, some ingots, uh, Invar, an Enderium, and a Shiny. 
Uh, and then the force field emitter is Tesseracts, so that's four Tesseracts. Two go into this, and then I need two more of these force field emitters for this thing to work. That's four Tesseracts I had to build. Um, man, four Tesseracts I had to build for this. That's ridiculous. So here we go. Um, let's install this. Uh, range, let's go ahead and crank up the range. Uh, 64 meters. All right, and then we're going to go try these out real quick. I have never used the blink drive. Uh, I'm hoping that it's just like a point-and-click teleporter. Okay, here's the blink drive. Nope, that must be too far. Hmm. Ooh, let me turn back on my... Haha, <laughs> it is... That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you can't get me. I'm too fast. That's really awesome. All right. And then uh, we need some trees. Uh, and trees are... I don't want to use his trees. Let's uh, let's fly over to my experimental forest back here. I'm not sure how f far out before we can use this. Oh, there we go. It's a pretty good distance. 64. That must be 64 blocks. Um. All right, so now the blade, the blade is this weird little weapon. Uh, oh, I set my oil field on fire because I thought it looked cool over at uh, Akka's place. So I wanted to, oh, look at that. Did you see that horse? Uh, oh, cool, there's a sheep right here too. Um, but when you use the blade, I like it for uh, clearing out trees. Uh, it's just like using shears. Except it flies a long distance. So when you gotta clean off rubber trees, it's awesome. Uh, I don't, of course, need oak leaves or oak saplings, so I'll dump those. But it also works on sheep. Oh, I missed. Oh, don't move on me, sheep. Blam! Sheared from a distance. Oh, and it moves. Uh, it works on grass. Oh, are we lagging or what here? <laughs> so it's just like using shears, which is funny. And then if you hit something that can't shear, it, it does damage. Uh, and so, you know, it's not too terrible of a tool to build the parts for, I guess. And it's definitely funny to shoot sheep. Clip. <laughs> That's right, sheep, I took your clothes. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's the last things I'm probably going to add to the glove. I, I might do the electric thing just so we can see it once, but it used a lot of, ow, it used a lot of ingredients and I'm not really prepared to, to make the moment. Um, I mean, I've dumped over a stack of diamonds into this glove so far and I mean, yeah, I've got three stacks plus to go, but it's a lot of work. Um, all right. So, uh, what else do I have on me here? Uh, I think I've got, for the boots, we can add in, uh, we can add in shock absorbers. And, uh, so they, they stop you from taking damage. Oh, look, we actually need wool. I should have grabbed the wool because I don't, I don't think I have any. Uh, sheeps. Sheeps, I need your your clothes. And I should have grabbed it when I was out there, and I didn't. But that's okay. With all the little gadgets I got, it's not a long hike back out here. Thank you. 
Uh, where'd the other sheep go? I might as well grab his wool too. Uh, nope, not there. You were over here, right? There you are. There's your wool. Mine now. <laughs> All right, and then back to base. I really like this uh, hang glider a lot. Um, on on other versions of Feed the Beast, um, they have a they have a mod called um, Gravis Suit, and it comes with an advanced jetpack uh, that's got faster flight on it. Uh, which is nice, and we don't have that on here. So the hang glider gives you a faster form of flight. All right, so I got the wool, and we'll go ahead and put the uh, the shock absorbers on here. You can see it takes two of the servos and two wool, um, and then I, of course, want no damage, so 100%. Uh, some of the things I could put in here, I could put a battery if I wanted one. Uh, I am going to add in uh, some armor. And I think we're going to put in the heat sink. Uh, now, it uses iron plating. Do I have iron plating on me? I don't think I... I don't have any iron plating. Why are you saying I can install that? I haven't made the iron plating yet. The iron plating is made with um, Invar gears. And five steel. Basic plating. All right. And then we're going to... Yeah. I need the heat sinks badly. Um, the real trick is going to be I've got to build the chest piece and get the... Um, uh, get the actual cooling systems in place. Uh, now the diamond plating... Oh, I thought that was the diamond plating. Is that not how you make the diamond plating? Oh, it's made with Electrum gears. Oh, alright. Alright, so let's make some Electrum gears then. I thought it was all Invar, but apparently it's Electrum. Electrum and Flux Crystals, um, which isn't bad. I mean, it's just basically five diamonds to get your plating. And then um, I can add on the diamond plating. Go ahead and install that. Uh, and then that gives you six points of armor from your boots. Yeah. And now, now I don't take damage, and it should let my weapons cool down faster. So here we go. Hover mode disabled. <laughs> Did you hear it? It protects me. <laughs> uh, Alright, now let's see how this thing does with uh, one... Heat sink on it. I got enough stuff to add more. Oh yeah, see, did you see that? It barely went up. I got a whole bunch of shots from my railgun. So the heat sink does not let you cool down faster. Uh, instead, what it does is it uh, reduces the amount of heat you generate. And so I really need to get the chest piece going because... Otherwise, you're stuck with your heat, and then you set yourself on fire like a dummy and die, which I've done three times since I put all these weapons on my glove. All right, let's take a look at what we got to have then to do the cooling system on the chest plate. Uh, and so, uh, no, it's the magnet. Uh, camouflage, here we go, cooling system. Cooling system is a control circuit and four eye of Ender. All right, so the control circuit is, that's a computer chip, control circuit. Uh, all right, so we need 
I already forgot. How many of those did I need? <laughs> How many of those did I need? Oh, just one. Just one. I've got three three wire. Uh, I've got two flux crystals. I probably have three flux electrum as well. No, I only got two. Um, so let me go make a let me go take some gold and some redstone just in case I don't have any out there. Uh, I'm also not sure how much it takes, but let's go make that chipset. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, I've got redstone in there. Yep, make me one of those. Do it. Oh, are you not connected? Did I disconnect you? You're connected. Get working. All right, there it goes. So we'll let that work for a minute, and then I'm going to go over here and check my um, my f infused flux electrum here, and then we'll throw those in to start cooking. Um, you probably need... Oh, I didn't bring any with me. How you doing though? Yep, give me that coal. Give me that. Yeah, that's enough for now. I'm gonna take the coal up here to my blast furnace, and we'll dump that in. It takes two stacks of coal for every stack of iron to get um, uh, steel. So I'm gonna need the steel, and then. Let me grab the other parts of this. I should have just grabbed all the parts at once and we'd have been good. Uh, so I need three wires and three... What am I making here? Control circuit. Three wires. I already got two of those. Three of those. Got that, got that, got that. Just waiting on that. Uh, I think that was three eyes of Ender, which is really weird. Why is it eyes of Ender? That doesn't even make any... Four eyes of Ender. That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, one, two, three, four of these, and then you put it with, uh, one, two, three, four blaze powder, ender pearl, blaze powder, four eyes of ender. Did I not grab that fluxed? Oh, I grabbed two. Yeah, yeah, because I have two here, and I only needed one anyways. Oh, and I've got... A whole stack of this stuff needs to go down. And didn't I have a extra stack of redstone in here to go dump in that thing? Oh, we're getting laggy. I Why am I so laggy? It's driving me crazy. I'm going to have to reboot my router or something. I have been laggy for two days now. Uh, okay. Whoa. I teleported. He was doing this to me yesterday. Come on, I'm almost done with my episode. Whatever is going on here, you're driving me crazy. Redstone. Uh, oh, apparently I already put that in there. Yeah, yeah. And then Electrum. Okay, it's in there. Electrum. Stop fighting me. Electrum. Right, you must be going now. Maybe that's in there? I don't know. Oh, now it's working. Okay. And then we come over here. We'll check our parts. Are you done yet? Nope. We're going to stand here like an idiot. I don't know who's doing what on my internets, but... Uh, yesterday it was, like, terrible, and, uh, let's see, we need, uh, 40,000, and we're, we're almost there. Uh, it's probably there already, as soon as the 
game catches up to me. Oh, it's not there already. <laughs> the door just shut. About disconnects people from some internet, I think. Who knows what they're doing? Probably downloading something. Or the internet's just terrible today. Uh, one of the two. I will definitely reboot my router when I'm done finished. Done finished. When I'm done fin when I'm finished with this episode. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the suit's pretty awesome. Uh, and it's just really, really material consuming. Uh, on... <laughs> On uh, the other versions uh, that I've played with the modular power suit on, it's just really easy. It's all like gold and iron, and it's just all done. Uh, we must have some charcoal flowing again. I saw my charcoal generators there pumping away. All my trees are down. It's been a while since I had to run that thing. It's been a while since I've done a project this big. Because uh, this thing is sucking down the resources. I've got my, uh, oh, look at that. It's drained out one of my barrels. Uh, this one's only got, well, that one's still almost full, so. Probably when this one empties, then that one will have to start emptying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I let my barrels fill up because I stopped running my quarry. And, uh, so that way I could use, uh, that way I could. It's, it's so funny to hear it thump, thump, thump. Oh yeah, there's my uh, oil field on fire. That's why I did it, because it looks pretty cool from a distance. Are you done yet? Hurry it up, you're, you're delaying my game. There we go. I guess I should have made that ahead of time. I didn't actually plan on, on doing the cooling system today. I was going to wait. Uh, I made up all the stuff to make the armor, and I was just going to lay the armor out on all my pieces, but uh, I decided maybe I'd like to use my items without them overheating me so badly. Alright. Uh, nope, because I still have to make the, the thing. So, chipset, uh, wiring, electrum, two, um, two of these... <laughs> Okay, there we go. They answered the phone. Uh, two of these uh, flux crystals, and that gave us our control circuit, and I already made the ender systems, and we are going to crank this thing all the way up. Uh, I know that uh, you might need to find a balance between power and usage, but I usually just crank everything up. So now... Now I have to put it on. Um, I actually might have the stuff on me to do some of the leg stuff too. I was trying to think of why I had so much stuff already made up. And I have so many servos. All right, here we go. And you can see my heat goes down. So apparently I can't hit that guy either. Uh, and so now I can actually use the suit. There we go. Which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> of course, it's going to suck out my my power. So I still need to do, like, um, uh, you can put the, well, it's, like, I want to put on the uh, solar helmet, uh, which I don't have the wiring is my problem at the moment. I'm, I've got to get... Uh, a bunch of the fluxed electrum ingots built up, but uh, I keep running out of patience because it takes so long for some of this stuff to run through. Uh, oh, I, you know, I was going to teleport up, but I can actually... I don't think so. Little dude.
I can take my hidden elevator here. It's not that hidden, but it keeps the mobs out. Bloop. Uh, yeah, be careful with your gauntlet, especially if you've got the wrench on there, because then it just gets all crazy. Uh, I'm going to go back up and look real quick at um, some of the other pieces and uh, show you what I've got left to make. And uh, all right, so um, for for the boots, I'm probably not going to do the jet boots because uh, they make you jump higher, but it's not really useful for me. Uh, I don't think I need another battery stored on there, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I've got everything I think I want on the gauntlet now, at least everything I want for now. I, I mean. I do want to do the lightning summoner, but it's a HV capacitor and two more force field emitters, and I just haven't had the time to get the supplies together to build two more force field <laughs> emitters. Uh, mostly it's the Tesseracts that are slowing me down. Um, the boots, oh, we've looked at the boots. The legs, uh, the legs are really cool. Um, they've got this kinetic generator, which generates power with your movement. I'll probably make that. Uh, I need to make another control circuit for that. Um, sprint assist. Uh, oh, this is what I've got. See, I've got the... Uh, I've actually got this stuff for these on me. Uh, sprint assist is how fast you go uh, with the legs equipped. Let's ramp that up. Uh, jump assist allows you to jump higher. So let's ramp that up. Uh, swim boost. I don't have an ion thruster for that. And this is this is awesome right there. This uh, uphill st step assist, yeah. Uh, so I had all the bits and pieces for that. For the uh, the chest, I need to add in the. Um, uh, I, I want to get in the uh, uh, jetpack and glider for this. I'm not really worried about the parachute. Uh, I want to try this dimensional tear generator too, uh, and that's not actually too bad to make, which is crazy. The Jetpack that was for those ion thrusters. Um, I don't think the glider looked too hard to make either. Uh, I'm not worried about the camouflage or the magnets. Uh, we just added the cooling system. I don't want the mob repulsor. Uh, I'm not too worried about the water tank either. And then on the helmets, on the helmet we can get the uh, high efficiency solar generator. I want one of those. Uh, I want the water electrolyzer because it lets you breathe underwater. I want the auto feeder because. I can never remember to feed myself, and if you keep cans of food in your inventory, it will just automatically... Actually, I think this just uses whatever the food is, so um, it'll feed me. I'm not going to get the night vision. I tried that once before. Uh, maybe I should get it, because I, it helps you see underwater. I just I don't like the what it does to the night, though. Uh, you get the flight control, because that helps you use the, um, the jet pack. Uh, and then that's pretty much all I want for the helmets. Um, you can see it's just a control circuit. That's not too bad. Uh, I don't remember what goes into a hologram emitter, but another control circuit. Uh, LV capacitor, two servos, another control circuit. Mostly I'm just going to be making a bunch of control circuits, it looks like, um, to get the rest of this. But uh, check out the legs, man. The legs are awesome. Uh, I might need to turn these down a little bit. Um, the step of boost allows you to run up blocks. And so you don't have to, uh, <laughs> this is, this is my walk speed. Uh, I am probably going to turn this down. Um, this is the run speed. And the jump. So as you can see, I'm like the Hulk now. Oh, and then I hit water. <laughs> and I don't have the water as this done yet. But between the run and the jump, you can cover long distances pretty quickly. Oh, and then I hit the water. Oh, nope. I don't know where I'm at now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, 
That's right. That's right. I can use my gadgets. Oh, I wish I had the water assist. Ugh. I gotta make another one of those. So, alright. Uh, this is, uh, this is more with the power suit. And it's, like I said, it's a lot of fun. Oh, no, you don't. I saw you try to trick me into falling down that hole. Water. Get out of the water. Uh, yeah. So click like if you like. Subscribe, be sure and catch the next one. I'll talk to you later.